Now, this, I, from my theater background, this uh, made me think of Claudius in Hamlet. Uh, act, Hamlet, Act 3. Scene 3, Act 3. Do you, know the, do you know the story at all? Claudius is the king of Denmark. He has become king of Denmark by murdering his brother, and then he marries his sister-in-law. And Hamlet, having been visited by the ghost of his father, wanted to win revenge, plots now to kill Claudius. He finally gets up the nerve to do it. He comes just as Claudius is praying. Claudius has been convicted of his act. And these words, although they're from Shakespeare, I think, speak very well into what we're talking about. Claudius is torn up. He knows that he should confess. He knows that he should pray. And yet, in the end, he gives up. He says, my words fly up, my thoughts remain below, words without thoughts never to heaven go. Very interesting. Earlier in that same soliloquy, Claudius has this to say, acknowledging that he has murdered his brother in order to get the throne. What if this cursed hand were thicker than itself with brother's blood? Is there not rain enough in the sweet heavens to wash it white as snow? What would we say? Yes. Yes. All sins can be forgiven through Christ. It doesn't matter what your story is. It doesn't matter what you've done. It is all paid for. The atonement won by Christ, the victory won by Christ that he freely shares, that he ransomed there on Calvary, is more than enough to pay for even a hand thicker than itself in brother's blood. The answer to that is yes. Yes. There is in a poetic way, rain enough in heavens to wash you white as snow, even though your sins be as scarlet. But Claudius goes on and says, but oh, what form of prayer can serve my turn? In other words, what should I say? What should I pray? Forgive me my foul murder? Again, yes. This is what the king should pray. He should, he should in all humility, throw himself on heaven's mercy and say, forgive me. But then he says... What form of prayer can serve my turn? Forgive me my foul murder. That cannot be, since I am still possessed of those effects for which I did the murder. My crown, mine own ambition, and my queen. May one be pardoned, he asks, and retain the offense. May one be pardoned and retain the offense. In other words, can I be reveling in my trespasses and my sins and go to heaven and expect to be heard and still hang on to my trespasses and sins? The answer is clearly no, is clearly no, because sin creates a separation between God and men.